I'm fortunate enough to be making over $40,000 per month with my video agency, which results in a very decent living for myself. On the other hand, however, there are many, many videographers and filmmakers who are struggling financially. Luckily though, there's a way that solves that forever. And in this video, I will show you how that works. Let's get into it. See, here's the thing. Most videographers and filmmakers charge money for the amount of hours their work or the amount of days or the amount of half days. You know, they have day rates. And if that's you, then pay attention closely right now because it doesn't make any sense. Let's imagine the following scenario. You have a huge mansion, all right? And that mansion is like symmetrical. And there are the same rooms on the left side as they are on the right side. And let's assume this mansion has two toilets. And unfortunately, the left toilet as well as the right toilet are broken at the same time. And you're like, oh my God, I need this fixed. So you call a company to fix your toilets, right? And that company says, hey, we can do it today, but unfortunately we only have the capacity to do one. And you're like, all right, so how much does it cost? And they say a hundred bucks per hour. And then you call a second company and ask them, hey, do you have time to fix my two toilets? And they say, yes, but unfortunately we only have capacity to fix one. And you're like, okay, how much does it cost? And they say a hundred bucks. And you're like, okay, cool, it costs the same. Let me just get both of them and one fixes one and the other one fixes the other. And then these both companies come to your place, to your huge mansion, right? But the difference is that one company, company A, let's call it, they send the apprentice, the intern, while the other company sends the expert who has not done anything else but fixing toilets for the last 35 years. Now, the apprentice takes four hours to fix that toilet, while the expert is done within an hour. Now, both companies send you their invoice. Company A, who sent the apprentice, the intern, sends you an invoice for $400. Four hours times $100, while the other company sends you an invoice for $100. One hour, a hundred dollars. Now, is that fair? The guy who has 35 years of experience makes four times less money than the intern just because they're charging for time. That is not fair. And exactly the same is gonna happen to you if you charge for your time. The more efficient you become, the less you get paid. And that's why you need to transition into another payment system, which is value-based pricing. So with value-based pricing, instead of charging for the hours you work, you charge for the value you provide. And now don't just think monetary value. People see value in various different things. Now, obviously the first thing is you make them more money, you get them more revenue because you produce an ad, an example, and they get more traffic and they get more customers at the end of the day. But then it could also be that you save them time with an explainer video, right? That is value created. It could also be that they boost their ego. They boost their status in the market because they have a video and every, everybody else doesn't. Or everybody else already has a video and they don't. So they need to catch up with the market. But it could also be that they just want to avoid a negative outcome. They see the value in paying you more than all your competitors because they know that when they're gonna work with you, it's actually gonna turn out well. So they avoid a negative outcome. There are many other ways how you generate value. An example, when you generate leads for employees, like people who apply for a job, right? This is also value created. So it's not always about the money. Keep that in mind. Value is not equal money, but it has to be focused on the value, the video you provide, because otherwise the person who buys it from you, the client, will never see why they pay that much. But now obviously the question comes up, how do you actually find out what the client values? Is it money? Is it saving time? Is it avoiding a negative outcome? Like all these different things, what do they value? Well, it's fairly easy. When they approach you the first time and they ask you about a certain type of video, don't just say, yeah, cool, I can do that, no problem. But instead, turn into doctor mode, okay? Become a doctor and diagnose your client like a doctor would diagnose their patient. So an example, when somebody goes to the doctor and says, hey, I have a headache, I need an aspirin. The doctor is not just gonna give them the aspirin, right? He's gonna say, well, wait a second. When has that started? How much water did you drink in the last couple of days? How much sleep did you get? Where exactly does it hurt? And all these questions, right? Same thing with a client that comes to you and they're asking for a video. You must be asking questions like, wait a second, why exactly do you think you need a video? 
What are your goals with the video? What have you tried before? What are the challenges? How what have you tried to overcome these challenges? Right? And all these questions to make sure that you fully understand the client and they fully understand that you're the expert. Because once they do, they are willing to pay you way more. And that is when running a video business gets really exciting because you're not only going to get the amazing projects and the dream clients, but also make a lot of money while doing what you absolutely love. And speaking of making more money, I actually run the Video Business Academy consulting program it's a consulting program that helps videographers just like you get to over $10,000 per month within 60 to 90 days. I've helped over 300 videographers in the last 12 months and you can be one of them as well. Just check out the free training that is linked right next to me. Uh, I explain exactly how the Video Business Academy works and yeah, we'll see each other there. See ya.